sometimes, especially if you have a past of dealing with anxiety or intrusive thoughts and you are trying to affirm for your desire, those negative thoughts, they creep in and they're like, Psst. Hey, you know that's not true. You know you're not gonna get what you want, right? And they just keep berating you and berating you and berating you and it feels like a never-ending battle of constantly going back and forth with yourself. We've already talked about how manifestation should not feel like effort, it should not feel like work, you should not feel like you are destroying yourself mentally in order to get what you want. But when it feels like you've done everything that you could possibly do, you feel like you are doing so well on your manifestation game and you continue to have negative thoughts, what are you supposed to do? Well, I have a couple tips for you today. So when we think about negative thoughts, the first thing I want you to do is stop claiming that the negative thoughts are yours. So when you refer to it, don't say my negative thoughts because thoughts are things that we receive, right? They're energetic. You can catch thoughts from other people. You can have thoughts ingrained from your beliefs. Sometimes thoughts just pop up subconsciously. I don't want you to claim that these negative thoughts are yours. Don't give them any more power over you than they already have because if you continue to feed into the negative thoughts, continue to give them power, they're gonna know that it's okay for them to reside in your mental space. They're going to continue to keep coming at you, to keep berating you. They're gonna keep pestering you because you keep giving them attention and you keep your focus on them. So something you can do when you're having a negative thought is one, you can just say, okay, I recognize this thought. This is a thought that is aligned with my old self, but I'm a new version of myself now. So this is just trickle down. This is something that's old. This is something from an old story. I don't identify with that anymore, so I don't have to worry about it. The less I focus on it, the easier it will be to go away. Those thoughts will know that they have no place. You literally do not make space for them in your mind, so they can no longer exist. If you don't make a place for them, if you don't make those thoughts feel comfortable, they will start to fade away. So make yourself aware and be very firm in that this thought, I don't identify with this thought, I don't claim this thought, this thought is not a part of me, it's not a part of my new story, it's not a part of the way I think anymore, therefore I can disregard it. Another thing that's also always good is to add it into your affirmations, just say negative thoughts don't manifest, not my negative thoughts don't manifest, just negative thoughts don't manifest. There is no negativity in my reality. Everything that is here in my reality is to serve me, is for my good, and therefore a negative thought doesn't mean anything to me because it's literally just ridiculous. Make those thoughts feel like they're stupid. The more that you literally just don't care, and like I always say, even if it feels like you care, even if the negative thoughts are knocking on your door, you do not give them the energy and the power that they're craving. They're feeding off of you, right? This is a pendulum. Whether you call it a pendulum or an egregore, the more that you feed into this energy, the more you are putting thought, energy, and emotion behind it, the bigger and bigger it will grow. So you don't want to give it any extra power. Now somebody is mowing the lawn. So, so the more you feed into these negative thoughts, the more you give them energy, the more power they are going to have over you just like how somebody is mowing the lawn right now and I'm trying to get this video out and I'm just going to continue to do what I'm doing and ignore that and it's no longer going to be a part of my reality because I'm not giving it any attention. If you literally cannot not give it attention because I understand intrusive thoughts are inherently intrusive, that means you did not invite them in, they're just coming of their own volition, which is dumb and you should not have to deal with that. So what you're going to do is when those negative thoughts come up, you're literally going to laugh at it and be like, that is literally ridiculous. That would never happen. Why would that ever happen in my reality? Because everything in my reality is perfect. That literally the chances and the possibilities of that happening are so slim. That's such a stupid thought. Why would you even think that? I don't think like that anymore. Just disregard it as being so frivolous and so silly that it literally is inconsequential to whatever you're doing. And then go back to your affirmations, your method, your scripting, your journaling, whatever makes you feel good really dig into that gratitude, really dig into, I'm so glad that everything is working out perfectly, no matter what my mental state is, no matter what my thoughts are, I have this feeling of being so safe and so taken care of that it doesn't even matter. No matter what, I'm always going to get what I want because I always get what I want. That's just a given in my reality. Every single time I'm going to win. I am more powerful than these thoughts. These thoughts have no control over me and the less energy you give them, the more they will begin to dissipate because they have to feed off of you. They have to feed off of that emotion, right? So a thought plus a powerful emotion is what manifests quickly. So if you back those thoughts up with a negative emotion, 
they're going to gain more power, more momentum, therefore more negative thoughts, therefore more negative manifestations in the 3D. And then you see the negative manifestation in the 3D and that causes you to spiral more. And now you're caught in a negative loop or a negative spiral. If you just have the thought and you back it up with no emotion at all or a positive emotion, the emotion is going to win over the thought every single time. I know some people claim that it is very hard for them to get into the feeling state or to conjure up a positive emotion. In this scenario, you need to repeat, 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 repeat. Stick to your mental diet. When those negative thoughts come up, either you're going to ignore them, you're going to laugh at them like they're stupid, or you're going to go into your affirmations, into your inner conversations, into your story of the place that you desire to be, of the person you desire to be, of you living in the end, of you having your manifestation. The more that you practice doing this, the easier it will be. The more they will dissipate. And with a mental diet, with keeping tabs on your thoughts, you don't have to feel like every single negative thought you have you have to control it or go after it and attack it with a positive thought because that also is still in the energy of i fear this thought if i think this thought it's going to manifest therefore i have to do something about this just chill like i said that's when you go back to the like okay let's say i have a thought like my manifestation's not here yet it's been a really long time it's probably not going to come you're like okay well time doesn't even exist time is a human construct it doesn't matter when it happens, how it happens. That's up to universal intelligence to decide. I'm just going to sit here and wait because I know that if I stay in this feeling state, eventually it will manifest and whatever will be eventually is here now. So I'm going to continue to stay in the state of the wish fulfilled now. Therefore, my manifestation will get to me even more quickly than I ever expected. Just try to combat those negative thoughts with love. Okay, sometimes it's hard to get up the emotional scale from despair from fear all the way up to love then don't if you need to get angry at those negative thoughts get angry but show them that they are not going to have power over you they can't keep feeding off of you and zapping your energy because the energy that you use fighting with those negative thoughts could be used to be in the state and to fulfill your manifestation don't get discouraged don't let those negative thoughts control you okay you are powerful your thoughts are powerful your state is powerful and most of all your emotions are very very powerful use them to your advantage if it takes you going from depression to fear and then from fear to anxiety and then to, from anxiety to anger all, all the way up the emotional scale you have to take baby steps then take those baby steps you don't have to be all love and light all the time you don't have to be scared that if you have one negative thought your manifestation is going to go to it's not you are going to be okay i promise you are going to be okay so whatever you do, whatever your method is, whatever makes you feel good, do more of that. Do what makes it, even if it's not a method, even if you have an activity you like to do, call up a friend, go do something, do the things that fulfill you and make you feel good in the state that you are and know that whatever is happening right now, you cannot control it through force, through sheer willpower. And you don't want to, you, you really could try and go down that route, but the fruits of your labor will be so slim. Okay, the best thing that you can do is control your internal state because that's really the only thing you can control and that's the only thing you want to control. You want to worry about you because this, you, what's inside, your feeling state, your thoughts, your emotions, the way that you feel within yourself and about yourself in relation to your reality is what creates your reality. So start to cultivate a safe place for yourself on the inside because if you're at war in your mind with yourself 24 seven, then you're gonna be at war in your reality. And that's not what you want. That's not what anybody wants. It's not a fun way to live and you do not have to live that way anymore. I don't care how long you've had these intrusive thoughts. I don't care how long you've been in a negative spiral. You can get out of it and you can still get your manifestation. There is nothing that is stopping what is for you. What is for you will always be for you, can never be taken from you, can never be for anyone else. Get very firm in the knowledge of this and keep practicing it. Keep doing it over and over and over again. Repetition. Repetition, persistence, firm choice. Firm choice. No, this is the reality I'm choosing right now. Those thoughts are from an old version of me. I'm not that version of me anymore. So I'm going to continue to think these thoughts, continue to remind my mind that this is the life path that we're on now. And we're going to disregard everything else. And the less that I focus on it, the less it will be in my awareness and the less that it will show up in my 3D. Okay. I promise that you are capable of doing this. I know that at sometimes it may feel hard, but even if it feels hard, even if you feel like it's not going to work, 
keep at it. It will work. Tell yourself, no matter my state, no matter my emotions, every single day I'm getting better and better at this. Every single day I'm getting more and more help. Every single day I'm getting more and more evidence that I'm becoming the version of me that can manifest whatever I want, that can do whatever I want, that can have whatever I want, that can be the version of me that I want to be. Every single day I'm getting closer and closer. If that's where you have to start, then start there. And even if you don't believe it, you keep telling yourself this story because you are no longer stuck in the negative story and you don't want to be stuck in the negative story so don't tell me oh i don't have to have the feeling oh i don't have to think these thoughts oh i don't have to repeat oh i don't have to do this then don't if you're at that place in life then don't but if you are still stuck in a place of feeling in a negative state of constantly battling with negative emotions eventually you're probably going to want to handle that because it's no way to live constantly at war with yourself and at war with your mind because your mind is literally capable of creating such beautiful things in your reality and you turning around and being a completely different person and having everything that you want so start now start today literally right now in this moment make a decision that you are no longer warring with negative thoughts that you are no longer subject to your mind that your mind does not control you you control your mind and through that you can control the things in your reality by making a choice not by going out and using your will not by trying to manipulate other people but by making a choice internally that you are choosing a new state you are choosing a new being you are choosing new thoughts you're choosing a new story and you are a new person getting whatever the f you want okay all right, you guys, that's going to do it for me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed and got something of value from this video. Be sure to share your questions, comments, concerns in the comment box below. You can check out the description for my services, social media links, all that good stuff is down there. And other than that, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye.